everyone, it's Tiffy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you guys a DIY that I created for some fall decor. It's really inexpensive to do and I think it's super cute. It is this little fall leaf mobile and these are actually made out of twigs that I found in my backyard. You can find the pine cones in your backyard and these leaves, since I want to use it for next year, decided to use fake leaves from the dollar store. So really inexpensive, super cute. I couldn't leave out fall. I really wanted to do some decoration for fall, especially in our new home. So stay tuned to find out how to make this. So what you're gonna need for this project are some fake leaves. I found these ones at Hobby Lobby, or you can also purchase them from the dollar store. I personally like the dollar store ones because they're flat and easy to work with. You're also going to need some Mod Podge and a foam brush. If you have a hole puncher, I'd recommend using one. You can always poke a hole with a needle and you're also going to need different types of glitter. So I'm going to be using gold glitter. I would recommend getting a variation of really fine glitter and larger specks of glitter. You're also going to need some sort of clear string. Fish wire or beading wire will do just fine. Optional are tiny little pine cones. You can purchase these or if you're lucky enough to find them in your backyard, I would totally recommend using them. So I went outside and I found some twigs from my backyard and we're going to use these twigs to create the base that we're going to hang all of our leaves from. So initially I wanted to bend the twigs and make a circular shape. So I am soaking the twigs in hot water so that they can absorb the water and become a little more flexible. While those are soaking in water, go ahead and grab your leaves and the Mod Podge and we're going to add some glitter onto the leaves. Load up your brush with Mod Podge and paint the leaf completely. So now that your leaf is completely covered in Mod Podge, go ahead and sprinkle some glitter onto the leaf. You can have fun here and add different types of glitter on different locations of the leaf. You can combine different types of gold, but this is how one turned out and I think it looks really pretty. Have fun with this and let those dry off. So now that the twigs have soaked up some water and are a little more flexible, I am attempting to bend them, but still they aren't as flexible as I wanted them to be. So what I'm doing is I am just going to grab smaller pieces and we're just going to create a round-ish shape. You can also create a triangle that would look really cool, but the way I'm attaching the twigs together is by grabbing some jute and just wrapping it around two twigs a couple times and tying it off in a knot. Then cut off the excess string so you don't have a lot of string dangling around. So now that I have a circle-ish shape, I'm gonna go over and add some more twigs on top of this, giving it some more texture and making it look a little bit fuller. Be sure to leave some twigs kind of sticking out the sides because it gives it a really cool look. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the leaves to the branches and I'm gonna have six different locations where the leaves are going to attach. So before we do that, we are going to punch holes into our leaves and then we're gonna grab our clear string and string through the leaves. So since I'm gonna have six different strands hanging from the branches, I decided to do two strings with two leaves, two strings with three leaves, and two strings with four leaves, just to add variation. For some of the strands, I added the little tiny pine cones between leaves to add in some nice brown fall colors. And the way that I attached the pine cones was just put the string in between some of the little nubs that are sticking out and tying it off. So once you have all of your strands of leaves complete, now we're ready to attach them to the twigs. So the way that I attached them was just by simply tying it in a knot. Be sure to hold up the whole mobile periodically so that you can see where the leaves are falling and make sure that you're happy with it. I would recommend not cutting off the excess string that you have until you are completely satisfied with the layout. So now all of my leaves are attached and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab some more jute and we're gonna attach this at three locations on the circle. Then those three strings are going to meet up right in the center and we're gonna use this to be able to hang from wherever we like. So literally just tie on the jute, knot it off, and do this two more times. 
So now that the three strands are attached, grab all three of them, gather them in the center, and you can go ahead and knot it off right here. Lift the whole mobile to make sure that it's centered, and if you like, you can braid the strands that are left over, or you can just tie them off in a knot, but that's the last step to complete the mobile. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and make one of your own. I actually really do love this and will be using this every single year as long as it doesn't break. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tiffy and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.